my people, the former chairman of Labour Party in Ikorodu, just drag Legacy and Wumi outside right now. Demanding for DNA. Matter is getting tougher by the day. Guys, I'm going to put the audio for you to listen. But before I do that, if you are just joining me in this channel for the very first time, you're very much welcome. Please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell icon to get notified on time whenever I publish any latest video. Let's go, guys. I I just left Nigeria about six months ago to UK. And before I left, I was the chairman of Labour Party, Korudu LGA, entirely. And uh, by the virtue of that, when this issue of mobile happened, I was still in Nigeria. At first, ordinarily, me, I don't listen to hip e hops. I'm a gospel artist. So I don't know much about these people. But this, the circumstances surrounding the death of this guy, that I heard of them, made me develop a kind of interest. I want to know what really happened because Nigeria is a kind of country where a lot happened and people just get away with it. A lot will happen. Even within political realms, a lot will happen and people will believe because just like what Prince said, Prince Adebayo Oyeko said, that because no more you, they will just come, let's talk. Oh yeah, tell people this. And that will be the end. At the initial time, God forgive me, I was blaming Baba Mubad. Just for one reason, for burying that guy so quickly. So, I was of this opinion, like a normal human being, like, oh, could it be that he knew something about his son's death? Could that be the reason he quickly buried that guy? But I slept and woke up and realized that, person, you need to know more. You don't just judge the book by the cover. Then I picked up my car keys. I called one of my executives. We went straight to Mr. Joseph Aloba's house. Baba Mubad. That was the week Mubad died. I think about two days after I was buried. Then when I got to the house, I even met them in the dark. Immediately I got in. A guy followed me. I want you to please follow this storyline. For you to know that there's a lot to be unraveled of this boy's death, the child's birth, and many other things. Okay. Then the guy followed me in. If all of our family are here now, and they were there that day, they will remember everything I'm saying. Then the guy came in. The place was dark. There was no light. They didn't put on the gem. As a matter of fact, I asked them that day why the gem was not on. Because the father explained to me, even including the two million naira the video was, how the money, one million was set into his account, where the one million was at that time, he showed me his room, how he has been suffering, that's why the fact that he's the his, his mobile father. He showed me his room, I saw his house, I saw everything. I had to drop money for them to buy food, that a kind of house like this must not be dark. If anybody is coming in or going out, you must be able to see the eyes of those people. The first thing I told him that day was, don't grant any interview again. It's like they are using this interview against you. Then, when I left, when I was in the house that day, he told me, so that was when I heard about Mama Mubad stories, not from Papa Mubad, but from relatives and people on the streets. The person that took me from the junction to the house, if you know Papa Mubad's house, you will know the distance from the junction to the house. The person that took me from the junction to the house is not even a family member but a friend to my mom about herself okay no. and she told me everything that has been happening how my mom about left the house how this happened who my mom about is to mama will be hmm. you know they are both from me hmm. now when i left the house i went back if you check larry online car Peter and the file says that P. You will know that at the initial ground, it was also against Baba Mubad. We were all castigating Baba Mubad on Facebook, including myself. But immediately I heard part of the truth. Then I went back to the Facebook and I told Larry, Uncle Larry, that please sir, call me. I have updates on this matter. 
Then he called me. Immediately he called me. Then I told Uncle Larry Olayinka. He was the one who called Insta Blog Niger and who called Linda Ikeji and made them know that this is what is happening before this whole thing escalated. This is where I'm going. They need to ask Wumi questions. Though I'm angry with Baba Mubarak presently, reason is because. There are some things you don't just get involved in. You see all those his songs, singing. It's not now. People are still aggrieved at this time. Somebody is asking why call blogger. Bloggers were the one carrying news against Baba Baba. So it was where it generated from that we had to go back to. If not for the bloggers, if not for internet, you people will not know the truth about Baba Mubarak's stand with his son. You would think, as you have been saying then, that he knows he knew something about his son there, and that was why he buried his son so quickly. If not for the same blog bloggers or for the same internet. Now, Wumi, from the stories, got some connections before Mubad. Can we ask Wumi to come out and tell us what she knew about her husband's death? That is the she might not be the one that killed the husband. I'm not saying she killed the husband until proven. But of course, you were in the house. We've heard so many stories about this boy's death. What do you know? Everything she has been saying, or her mouthpiece has been saying, including her sister Karimo, has been saying is she did not kill her husband. She did not know anything. What exactly do you know? Even if it's that he slept and he woke up and you found out he was dead, tell us something. That is number one. Number two. Prime boy is a friend to Mubad. Tell us things. Don't hide anything. Mubad's death is no longer a death that can be covered. This is not a public affair. It's not a general thing. It's not a Nigerian thing in low death. It's all over the world. All of you should come. Tell us something. If a lawyer wants to stand for someone in court, if we ask the person, tell me the whole truth you know. It is the truth you tell me. Whatever truth you tell me is what I will build on and defend before the judge. So can you please tell us things? Let us know. Then coming to a bailable ship, either rightfully or wrongfully, Moshifi Lagoyade, but ah, what is story and which are we? Kito Tolemu, like your verse used to say. I'm respecting the office of the king, the position of the king. But at the same time, the truth must be told. When the issue of Naramani was mentioned, I mean, Sablan was mentioned, it was so sweet for the palace and the king to come out and deny Nairamani from being a member of the family, of the royal family. Now, there's an allegation. What is the king saying about it? Why the sudden silence? Why the sudden comportment? Because he was not comported during Sandari's case. Why? So now we are called, we need to call on all the kings because this thing that is happening is going to rob all the kings in Yoruba land if they are not careful. Of course, majority of them, I'm not, I'm not even sorry to say, majority of, majority of them are political appointees. Like what Prince said, in the days of Oyeko, in the days of Shijuade, We 
you know these people, if they open their mouth to lay a course, it will happen. But the ones we have we have here now, all the asher that is in your past is sold off. So we are calling on all the first class kings in your land. This is a this is a, this is a, this is a trash of all the kings. They should call Elegushi. If Liam is Elegushi's son, let him take his son. Nobody will kill him for it. They won't say because Liam is your son, that means you are the one that killed Mobile. No. That will not stop Nigerians from looking for the for the cause of Mobile's death. But at least, even for that little boy to have a life, because that boy is just less than how many how many months of years. The life has been so complicated. Different stories are stories every day, every night. This will help the little boy when he grows up and hears all these things. He might not be happy. This will just help him. Oh, you are my child. Come to the palace. I don't take you. That's fine. Nobody will question the king. It's not today. King has been seen a lady walking on the streets and saying, Mobile said, Nobody will question the king. But at least, whatever Mubad lived for will go to the right place. All these issues will end up. Even if they now say everything Mubad lived for, they want to give it to the same Liam because Mubad himself claimed Liam when, when he was alive. Fine. But to save all these issues on ground, a legacy should come out and address the public. This is not a matter of court, court, court alone. A legacy should come out and address the public. This thing is lingering too much. The boy died, he was buried, he was exhumed, he's still in the morgue. The spirit is wandering around. Majority of the people are cashing out on the stories. Making the body to suffer. We need to really address all these things. And coming to DNA, why is women scared of DNA? Ah. Eh, your wife will always say something. People won't pay your role, go to my bomb and run If they were killed, you that this is what is on ground. I think for any innocent man or woman, the best thing you would want to do is to prove yourself innocent. Everybody will shut up. They will know that yes, you are exonerated. But you don't want to do DNA. A lot of presses have offered to pay for this DNA. You are saying no, they must bring court order. No now. This is Making it more obvious that something is fishy, something is even that you people don't want us to know about. And if I were Nigerian government, it's not a big deal. Guys, do this thing, get the order straight, go and do this thing, settle this whole issue. And everybody will be fine. So please. Against my initial intention or decision that I won't be talking about this matter, I am joining the house today. Especially with what I heard on MFM yesterday and on um, the other person's platform, because I went yesterday. I had to start looking for all platforms connecting to the bad case. I am coming back on board. By the time all of us join forces together, both home and abroad. We will settle all this matter. And if whatever they need, they want to do, we will contribute the money, we will drop the money. If it is money, we will drop it. Let them do what is necessary. And let Mubad be buried in peace. Even the elderly people that died, they will tell you, don't put me in mortuary for too long. Ago. Not to talk of a young guy. Who, 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 who died just like that? A promising guy like that. And we are making his body suffer in the, in the morgue like that. It's not good. 
is not good. This is wickedness. This is pure wickedness. So people should stand up and let this whole issue come to an end once and for all. Thank you very much. So immediately. Every sector, every political party is corrupt, including my party, Labour Party. That does not mean we don't have sincere people there. Yes, we do. But when we get to a particular stage, that is when you will know that there are some powers that be. Some powers that, that can actually be compromised easily. Thank God and thank you Nigerians for being the real mouthpiece for the late Mubad. The ball is still in our court. Fine. There are so many influential persons on this case, on this matter, who will never be biased and who are ready to know the truth. The only thing I can say basically is Nigeria of now, justice is very, very difficult to achieve. That is the truth. Nigeria of now. But there's just one power God has given to us which we can always use. That is the power of the media which we are using presently. I would want us to focus more on media and update people on anything that is going on. See, a lot of people still have secrets. They still have information about these matters. But the more you make it more public, the more people come out to say one or two things. And also, don't be scared. It might end up becoming an international case. It might, it might end up becoming an international case. Maybe by the time, you see all these protests going on in London, in the um, US, that people are taking to embassies. Sometimes embassies, embassies are under these people. The leaders of embassies, they are under these people. When you go to the you are But by the time, we, there are so many things we can't discuss openly like this. I'm going to be somehow diplomatic about it. But, Papariano, I'm following you already. We might have some behind the scene meetings. I'm going to be sincere with you. We have about four or five, four or three persons here. Don't think all of these people are actually here for justice. Majority of these people are here to gather information from your life and use against you. You want to gather from your life and use against you. But we will discuss behind the scene. Mr. My first daughter. Okay. okay. The truth is coming out. People are angry. Justice must come no matter what. Guys, what do you think about this video? Please drop your comments in the comment section of this video. And if you are just joining me for the very first time, you are meeting my channel for the very first time, you are very much welcome. Please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell icon to get notified on time whenever I publish any latest video. I will not fail to appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing. And to my returning viewers, thank you very much for view my videos guys don't forget to share this video this is lightness media i will see you in the next video